In version 151, Playwright released a very cool feature called Copy as a Prompt. So essentially, this is a button added to the Playwright reporter that allows you to extract the context about the test failure and then use this context in the LLM of your choice, for example, Claude or ChatGPT, to understand what actually went wrong. So let me show you in this demonstration the pros and cons of this new feature. For this demo, I'm going to use the Pet Clinic Test project that I use in the Bonder Academy for the practice assignments. So we will have two test scenarios automated by one of my students. So on the owner's page, we select the owner by the phone number and then validate that this phone is displayed on owner information page. And the second scenario, we just make a validation that the pets for the medicine city. So this is the medicine, 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 and these are the pets for this medicine city. That we have a correct list of the pets in the medicine city. And this is the code for those tests. So test number one is selecting the owner uh, by the phone number. We select this owner and then make validation that that phone for this owner uh, is exactly the same. And validation of pets of the medicine city. We choose the rows for all medicine. Then we loop through the table rows, extracting the values into this array. And then we compare that the array of the extracted values from the page equal to the array um, of the expected pets on this page. So these are two test cases. And both of them are actually uh, failing. So I made them failing by default, so we can test this new feature copy as a prompt. All right, so let's run the test number one and let's see what's gonna happen. So running the test, it's running the browser, opening the browser and uh, test should fail. Yeah, five seconds timeout, test failed expectedly. So, and we're looking into this uh, message error log and it's, you know, not clear what actually happened. So we see a cold trace, uh, 3x locator, 6x locator. So we see the string does not match, but let's try to understand why exactly this happened. So I go to the Playwright reporter, open in default browser, that's the plugin I have in Visual Studio Code, just to conveniently open the reporter open this fail test and this is this button copy as a prompt click on this button and before i paste it into the llm let me show you first of all what is inside of that what is copied so i pasting it right here and that's the details that um copied from the report first of all it's instruction for ai follow playwright test failed, explain why, be concise, respect playwright best practices, provide snippets of the code with a fix if possible. Then test info, then error details, and then the actual code, right? This is the test from the spec file. So now let me just open the Claude and I paste it right here and hit enter. And we just wait for the resolution of AI based on this prompt. All right, and let's see the issue. The test data mismatch. You are selecting owner with the phone number of this one, line 14, but you expecting to find this one with extra eight on their detail page. The root cause, the expected number in the assertion doesn't match the actual phone number of the owner behind tested. And the fix, validate the expected phone number to match the actual data. And then it provides the suggestion how to improve this code. So look, the explanation is exactly clear. If reading this message was not that straightforward, what is wrong, then when you paste it into the uh, AI, when you paste this prompt, it's exactly telling you, hey, your assertion just do not match the expected result. Just fix this mistake and everything gonna work. So right here, I just update the phone number to correct, running this test one more time. And this test, I think it's passed, right? Yeah, it's a green test. So that's example number one. Now let's run example number two, which will be a little bit more tricky. So running the test number two, Running test number two, it should fail as well. Did it fail? Yeah, it failed already. So now I open this reporter, open this one and copy as prompt. So look at this error message. So this error message even more confusing. We have array with a bunch of values 
plus minus um, receive expected minus one plus two uh, the error itself is confusing completely so let's ai to explain this error message so going back to claude and i paste this prompt and sending it to debug all right and this is the issue explanation the test is failing because the pet name cell contains additional text instead of just leo the cell contains leo test with a new line and extra text the trim method only removes leading trailing white space not internal new lines or additional text so look it is exactly what is happening so going back to the application right here and look it was able to identify that we have two values inside of a single cell and it told us hey your cell has two values and the code that you implemented to grab the values from the cell of the web table simply will not work with this type of data you need to fix it and what suggestions it provides so so it suggests to make a split to trim those values by the new line so we have two several values and alternative approach if the pet name is a link target it specifically well no our, our pet name is not the link so we cannot target it so probably the first solution would work and we will get only first pet from the list of two pets within a single cell let's try it out right here and i running this test one more time and test passed successfully so that's main takeaway guys uh, the copy is a prompt a very very powerful feature to explain what actually happened with your test because the error message by default that playwright gives you is not very self-descriptive at all but if you copy this message and paste it as a prompt you quickly can understand the actual root cause of the issue and how to fix it is up to you you can either follow the suggestions by ai or you can find the solution that works for you based on the context of your application in your test scenario i have noticed that sometimes suggestions that ai provides how to fix your test are not really following playwright best practices or maybe not the best solution for the test scenario but the explanation of the error is like 99 percent accurate so use this feature to understand why the test fails and make your test more stable so if you like this video and want to see more of this put likes and subscribe and i see you in the next video